pollution. We are all aware about the extent of pollution in our environment in the present times. Proper understanding of how pollution occurs and affects all the living things can help us deal with the problem of pollution in a better way. Air pollution can be defined as the addition of harmful substances called pollutants to the air. Let us see how the air gets polluted. A large number of industries work round the clock to produce things we use every day. This results in the release of a lot of smoke and harmful gases like sulphur dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide and hydrogen sulphide into the air. A huge number of motor vehicles, including trucks, buses, cars and bikes, are used by us to travel and transport goods. These vehicles burn petrol and diesel and release toxic gases and chemicals into the air. Burning crackers Burning wood and coal to cook food and burning of garbage are other activities that release lot of smoke and pollutants into the air. Another growing cause of air pollution is the extensive cutting of trees to obtain land for agriculture and building houses. Trees absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen into the air and with the loss of trees, amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is rapidly increasing. Air pollution is very harmful for all living things, including us. It causes irritation and damages the eyes and the skin. It causes respiratory diseases like asthma, bronchitis and pneumonia. Long-term exposure to polluted air can also damage the brain, lungs, heart and kidneys. Did you know that the thick layer of fog common in the winter season is often a result of combination of smoke and fog? This layer is called smog and it causes breathing problems in children and elderly people. So how do we deal with air pollution, which we know is so dangerous? There are several ways by which we can reduce air pollution. For a start, we can walk or use a bicycle to travel to nearby places. This will help reduce the use of motor vehicles which cause pollution. Use of eco-friendly fuels like CNG that cause less pollution should be encouraged instead of petrol and diesel. Use of fuels like LPG and biogas that do not produce smoke and harmful gases should be used for cooking and heating purposes. Factories should be located far away from populated areas and gases coming out from their chimneys should be treated before being released into the atmosphere. More and more trees should be planted as they will help to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide in the air. We should all do our bit to prevent and reduce air pollution.